Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you could solve the problem of limited access, no internet access, unidentified network or yellow triangle problem. If you are facing any of this problem, it is one problem actually which has different naming. It goes also as uh, no internet access. So all of this problem which I have mentioned is just one problem and it goes back to the fact that when you try to connect to your internet, you have no internet access. It says either unidentified network, no internet access, limited internet or limited access, or it shows you in some cases the yellow triangle. So the fix for that, you will have to go to your search tab. If you have Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10, is the same fix. And we're going to type control panel. We will open the control panel. If you don't have the same view as mine, you can just go ahead and change view by large icons or small icons to category so that you are able to, to go ahead with us or to follow with us. The next thing which we will do, we will click on network and internet. After that, I, we will click on network and sharing center. And here I'm making sure that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Regardless, you don't have internet. It says here no internet, no network access, or no internet, or unlimited, or limited. You have just to make sure that you are locked to your wi to your Wi-Fi. Once done, click on the connection, and go ahead and click on properties. The next step is that we will try to apply multiple fix. If the first fix doesn't work for you, try the second one, the third one, and the fourth one, and by the end, you should be able to connect to your internet as normal. So, first thing, we are going to locate internet protocol version four, and we make sure that it's ticked or selected, and make sure that you select it, it shows in blue, and click on properties. Here I have a predefined static IP address. So what we are going to do, we are just going to click obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS service address automatically. You will click OK. You will close. And we will close again. You will have to wait. Windows might do its diagnosis or its analysis and it should work. Here it has changed from the little uh, planet and from the no internet access, unidentified, limited or whatever, it has changed access type internet. And I can go ahead and browse my internet as normal. If after that, you still unable to access and still showing the same error, go back to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, click on your Wi-Fi to open the settings, click on properties, and go to internet protocol version four, click on properties, and use the following IP address, that's the option which you will select, and we will go ahead and start entering our IP address. However, before you do that, I will invite you to go and to, and to look on your router or the box of your router or modem for your IP address. It usually starts with 192.168 and the last two set of digits, it might be eight or it might be one, so make sure to enter the exact one. So in my case, it's one and I will just enter number one. In the last set of digits, I will just enter number one. However, if, if, you, if you have like nine devices already connected to your Wi-Fi and your computer wouldn't be number 10, then just enter number 10. On the subnet mask, make sure to enter uh, as numbers or as set of numbers, 255.255. The third set of digits gonna be 255 and the fourth set of digits gonna be zero. Next, we will go to default gateway and here we're going to retype the first three sets of digits of our IP address, which mean 192, 168, and 1 or 8 based on what you have on your router. For me, it's going to be 192, 168, 1. And the last set, it's going to be number 1. Regardless of what you have to put here, 10, 8, 15, 20, 100, in the default getaway, the last set of digits must be 1. The next thing, we are going to enter DNS server addresses. So 
preferred DNS server is going to be 8888. You can go ahead and Google it to find the best DNS server addresses for your location. United States, California, India, whatever. You can do it by geography. Or you can define the, the, find some good addresses defined geograph, uh, geographically. Next, I will put as alternate DNS server 8844. If you enter just these numbers in the DNS server, it should work. We're going to select validate settings upon exit and we're going to click OK. We're going to close and we will close again. See here it has changed no network accesses but Windows will detect problems and try to solve them and once it has solved them we should get back the access. Here also it says unidentified network. In some cases it will say limited access or limited internet. Detecting problems by Windows might take up to five minutes but it shouldn't last for longer than that. So Windows is giving us as a solution automatically update your network settings. I will just click apply this fix. It might work. And here it says DHCP is not enabled for Wi-Fi fixed and it shows in green. So the problem has been solved. And here I have internet back and I have my internet name. The next thing, if this, after all of this two tentative still not working, I will invite you to go to the last solution. First, we will open again the TCP4 or Internet Protocol 4 properties. So make sure to select obtain an IP address automatically and obtain then a server address automatically and close after validating the settings and make sure to select or to tick Internet Protocol version 6 TCP slash IPv6. Click on properties and make sure to obtain an IPv6 address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are selected. You will just select them and click OK. You will click Close. Windows again will run certain controls and apply the measures and settings. And once done, you will see that the sent packages and received packages are rising and your internet is working correctly. So I'll just go ahead and click close. And here I have access type internet and my internet is working correctly. If all of this still didn't solve your problem, then you can go ahead and try a reset of your router or you can even go ahead and try to update your drivers. You can look for videos on our channel where we explain to you how you can update your drivers and how also to perform a reset of your router. If you are still facing some problems, you can always write us a comment or send us an email and we will do our best to help you. And guys, if you would like, you can always encourage us by pressing a like if you liked this video or dislike if you didn't like it and share and do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.